We're hitting the road and we're hot dogging in Maine. Welcome to the beautiful community of Winter Harbor, Maine, right on the edge of Acadia National Park. This place is just loaded with natural beauty, nice fresh seafood, and hot dogs. I'm Carl Johnson. Uh, my family and we own the Fisherman's Inn restaurant here in Winter Harbor and we're a seasonal operation and this is our fun side. Inside is dinners, heavy cooking, uh, really, really rising to the occasion. Out here we have fun with the customers. We are doing delicious dogs, as yeah. we call them. We thought that would be a catchy name because they are in fact delicious, but we use pearl all beef hot dogs. We use their four to the pound and we use their eight to the pound and we also use KM Red Snappers and uh, we're enjoying very good luck with all of them. The locals like the Red Snappers and the people from away like the beef hot dogs. And you got a little local stuff too, don't you? Well, we do the Red Snappers, we do the lobster rolls, of course. Yeah. You know, that's a good, that's a real good one for us. Those come from right over there, right? Yes, they do, from the water <laughs> behind you. Right. Yes, from the fishermen that come to this hot dog stand. The red hot dogs were started to dip, so one butcher could differentiate their brand from another brand, and they could claim their superiority. Just look for the red ones or the pink ones; they're mine. Were there ever any blue hot dogs? Not to my knowledge. Okay. Blue's not the best food color. Uh, we've been operating our brick and mortar restaurant here for 12 seasons, and we've enjoyed a very, very good success. Very good success. Uh, we found that in 2008, things had changed. And with the downfall of the economy and everything else that's going on, uh, we wanted to have something that was more affordable and to be responsive with the times. Uh, I did quite a bit of research. I, I saw your blog online. I did a lot of lurking through the web. Uh, and, you know, then it was finalized when I'm sitting on a nice, warm, sunny beach in Thailand and I'm watching the mobile food vendors function there. I thought to myself, if I could do something like that at Fisherman's Inn on a seasonal basis that would segue with our brick and mortar restaurant, that would be a great, great, great marriage. So I did more research and I ordered a cart and had, had very good luck. My daughter-in-law, Nui, from Thailand, coincidentally, uh, understands the, the mobile food restaurant because of all the great food carts that they have over there. And it's worked out beautifully. You know? And it's a family affair here. Absolutely. It's... Myself, my wife, Nui, my daughter-in-law runs it. Uh, Nui's husband, Matt, works it. Her two children help set it up every morning. And uh, they'll do quite a number of people every day. It's quite impressive when you see 15 or 20 people milling around the hot dog car, just enjoying everything. The camaraderie is awesome. Nui, you're grilling the buns, huh? Yes, for the lobster roll. Oh, yummy. <laughs> do you do that for the hot dogs, too? Uh, if they're asking for it, yes, we do. All right. <laughs> And a little bit of onion crunch. Excuse me, open for me, please. How long have you been using the onion crunch? Two years. Two years? Or since, pretty much since it came out then? Yeah. It's great stuff. Did he send you some? Is that how you found out about it? Dad, I researched it and found it on his own. Oh, okay. And, uh, we've been ordering it. The locals really like it on the Hawaiian dog. Yeah. And Bosa dog. It's one of my favorites. It's a, pr it's a fairly new uh, company. I tell you what, though, there were... There's a family and they were speaking a... Uh, sounded like Scandinavian. I said, oh, where are you from? They said, oh, we're from Denmark. And I went... You get one of them down east or from way down east, they say, hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. You're right, yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. Working. Now, I've been working. I want you to give me a scale of one to ten. How do I do? You can't, you can't get there from here. You're doing good. I'm doing good. We're twins. All right. You got the, what do you got? The pearl dog with chili? Just chili? Just chili. Nothing else? Yeah. Is that what you always get? Is that what you always get? I don't know. 
something new every time. Right. <laughs> How long does the lunch rush go? It goes typically until about two o'clock. Yeah. And it'll be it'll be steady. It'll be very steady. Sometimes there'll be lines. Yeah. Um, and when there are too many people, they just they just take the product with them. They go out to the park, enjoy a picnic. A lot of people just take it over, sit next to the ocean, and uh, relax. Are you? Yeah. Are you? This is Mr. Good. Maine. You're Mr. Maine? Mr. Maine. Yeah, did you win the contest? <laughs> I don't know about that. But <laughs> <laughs> we, we, I've been asking people because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm from Boston, so I got a bit of an accent too, all right? And I can do a pretty mean, you can't get there from here. How, how is that? that? It's easy for me to say that. Well, being a chef, yeah. I'm always fascinated with the concepts and the combinations, how people uh, people pair their food. It's just incredible. And uh, that's why we have fun here at the hot dog cart. I'm going to Eastport, and I came all the way down here on the possibility that she was here selling hot dogs, because I had one here last year. And they're excellent. Now, what did we have on our hot dog today, sir? We had mustard and relish and onions. No ketchup? No ketchup for me. No. <laughs> That's a no-no, right? Ketchup's a no-no for me. Yeah? Yeah, you guys are up from Michigan? Oh, yeah? Yeah? Are you going to try a red dog? No. Do you live here in town? We do. All right. How often do you come by? Uh, we come by at least four times a week. Four times a week? Yeah. go to Plan Red. Is this your mom? Yes. Does she ever cook at home? Yes. Yeah. So this is the... Captain Dork, sauerkraut, cheese, thousand island, and then a little bit of onion. Okay. <laughs> now, why'd you change your mind, ma'am? Because I just saw the dog and I like the way it looks. <laughs> All right, now, hot dog stories first. Mrs. Hot Dog Man actually allowing nacho cheese on her Bacon, hot dogs. Bacon, chili, cheese, and onion crunch. There you go, ma'am. Perfect. Thank you. And for you, ma'am, would you like a... Uh, uh, okay. Uh, all right, what's that? Oh, you're always That's a 12 o'clock noon whistle. Oh, okay. It's time to, to chow down. I would like a grilled mm -hmm. bun, a grilled quarter-pound pearl, and I'm going to do a custom dog. I'm going to have uh, chili, chili. Okay. onion crunch, and Hawaiian relish. All righty. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call this the Hawaiian crunchy chili dog. It's a quarter pound pearl, I'll be frank, with uh, Carl's homemade chili, squeeze cheese, my favorite, onion crunch, and their homemade Hawaiian relish. And that's on a grilled pearl with the grilled New England style bun. And it's time to chow down. Good stuff, Carl. You bring fun into people's lives. All right, hey guys, great hot dog cart, great location. Can you beat this? Winter Harbor in the background, awesome restaurant. Thanks for your hospitality, Carl. It's You're been welcome. a lot of fun. Nui, Thank loved you, your sir. cooking, Thank loved you. the hat. Thank you. Matt, great to meet you. Keep on keeping on with the hot dog cart. I got to give this place two thumbs up, and I got to give two thumbs up to Carl Shades. Thanks for dogging in Down East Maine with Nui's Delicious Dogs. I can tell you that you cannot get there from here. <laughs>